Good morning. Uh, my name is Henri Saint-Brice. I am uh, Senior Vice President Marketing of Suez Environnement. And I'd like to discuss today the uh, relationship between uh, water and climate change in the context of the uh, economic crisis. The, the first point I'd like to mention is that there is a, a striking parallel between the uh, ecological crisis and the economic crisis we are going through today. Actually, uh, it's interesting to see that in both cases we've been living on credit and in both cases uh, we have now to pay our debt. The fact that we have been negating the external externalities in the, in the uh, uh, natural resources and the real price of natural resources has brought about the climate change crisis. And on the same uh, side, in the, on the economy, the fact that we have been negating uh, externalities such as debt uh, and off-balance sheet uh, burden has created the economic crisis. We, we believe at Suez Environnement that uh, uh, the post-crisis society will see emerge a new economy, an economy uh, more uh, frugal with resources, less brutal with nature, an economy that we see already emerging like the uh, circular economy or the functionality economy where people purchase a usage versus a product. Uh, in this framework, I'd like to discuss the uh, uh, increase and the drivers of water stress and also uh, the solutions that can be used today to, to fight against the, the water stress. There are three main drivers of water stress. The first one is um, obviously demography. With our population bound to grow from 6.7 billion today to 9 billion in 2050, that is plus 40 uh, percent, it is about 200,000 more people per day that will populate our planet. And those people will mostly live in large cities of emerging countries. This uh, population growth is uh, creating huge demand for water, mostly through agriculture. As you know, water is mostly used for 70 percent, 85 percent in India, for agriculture. And this uh, demand uh, will increase very strongly. The second factor of, uh, dri uh, the second driver of water stress is the evolution of diets. The fact that people uh, are eating more and more meat uh, is increasing the demand for cereals. 80% of the cereals is used for feed, while only 20% of cereals are used for food. And as you know, uh, it, one kilogram of wheat requires 1,000 liters of water, while one kilogram of meat requires 15,000 liters of water. So the third driver of uh, water stress is obviously climate change. And uh, it acts in three manners. First, by shifting patterns of rainfall, which causes, for example, monsoon failure in India. The second one is by increasing temperature, which increases the numbers of days of drought. And we see that in different parts of the world, in Australia, in India, in, uh, in, in the southern part of, of America, in sub-Saharan Africa. And the third uh, factor, obviously, is the increase of the level of seas, which puts lots of parts of the globe under, under risk and under stress. Well, adaptation action has to be done on both demand and supply side. On demand management, there will be no water policy uh, independent from agriculture policy. Agriculture water efficiency is a key parameter to reduce water stress. Saving municipal water also has a very strong potential. For example, the leak reduction we have achieved in Casablanca, where we manage the water system, equals to the consumption of 800,000 inhabitants. Increasing supply is the second option. There is huge potential with non-conventional sources of water, such as desalination and reuse. There's about 2.4 billion people who live near the sea, and desalination is already an option for 200 million people. Today, about 1% of drinking water is brought by desalination. Reuse is also a very strong option. Out of all the water that is collected, only half of it is treated and less than 5% of it is reclaimed. To conclude, I'd like to say that uh, decisions we make on water today will impact us on the long term. Infrastructure water that we're building today will survive in the climate of the 22nd century. Therefore, adaptation action must start now.